On this virtual tour stop, I'm again showcasing a pre-commercial thinning operation, but instead of showing you, you know, the loblolly short leaf portion of the stand, which you've seen in a previous video, I want you to look over here. And keep in mind, it's a 360 video, so pan around, see what you want. Uh, but up the hill, as well as behind me, this is a hardwood dominated section of the, stand, of the same stand. As is oftentimes the case when we're trying to establish uh, pine plantations on these previously pine hardwood mixture uh, sites here in the Piedmont, particularly when it's a higher quality site, uh, the chemical site preparation and release operations that we conduct sometimes are just not all that successful and we end up with these pockets of hardwoods. And uh, when that happens, you know, depending on what comes back, it can, it can be a real problem for you if it's something like sweet gum, but when it's something like yellow poplar, I'm not all that upset about it. Yellow poplar oftentimes has excellent form on these sites. It has a great growth rate on these higher quality sites. In fact, it will outpace short leaf, uh, no problem out here. Uh, it's a commercially valuable forest product. Uh, it tends to be pretty resilient here, at least on these types of sites. So it's, it's not, not, a, not a big issue for me. Uh, so instead of having our contractor come in here and cut all of this yellow poplar down, which you oftentimes see happen during these free commercial thinning operations, we ask them to just work it into the spacing and, and kind of treat it like pine. So as they work through this stand, again, the target was 11 by 11 feet. Leave a stem every 11 feet on the stand and select the highest quality stems. If the higher quality stem was a yellow poplar versus a scraggly pine, I asked them to go ahead and leave the yellow poplar. And in these hardwood dominated portions, the hardwoods were better looking than a lot of the pines were. The pines were pretty scraggly and in some areas there just wasn't any pine to work with. So this is pretty much what it looks like to do a pre-commercial thinning operation in a yellow poplar dominated portion of a stand. So I would hope that I would see a similar response amongst these poplars, uh, specifically like accelerated growth, increased stand vigor, um, kind of push the stand towards a commercial size a little faster. Uh, that said, I, I don't know if it will do it. Only time and, and data collection and analysis will answer that question for me. Um, but, you know, there's some published stuff out there that makes me optimistic. The big question I also have, though, is stem quality long term. I can already see epicormic branching forming a lot of these stems. It's probably not easy to see with the camera le resolution that we have, but uh, that could lead to some defect in quality out here and kind of make the stand less valuable than it otherwise would be, but uh, again, time will tell. I just wanted to stop out here and, and film a video and, and give you an idea of what it looks like when you just have a pre-commercial thinning conducted in a hardwood dominated portion of your stand. So with that, I'll let you look around and shut off the video.